So we want to bring your own model to Copilot Studio. I've created a project in Azure AI Foundry here called AI Webinar Demo, which has some useful information on the project page. First thing we'll do is go to the model catalog. There are many models, over 11,000 models in the Foundry model catalog. It could be a little overwhelming figuring out which model you want to use if you don't know coming in. So Foundry offers a few different things you can use to help you figure that out. The leaderboards show you which models are performing best across four different criteria, and you can browse the leaderboards to see more details about that. That can be helpful. You can kind of scroll through them if you want. And very handily at the top, are, you can filter. So the first is collections. When you filter by collection, you can see Azure OpenAI, Microsoft, Meta, Mistral, NVIDIA, uh, Cohere, Databricks, Snowflake, Hugging Face. You can filter by industry. You can filter by capabilities of the model. You can filter by deployment options and very usefully by inference tasks. And not all inference tasks are available in Copilot Studio models, but you can do chat completion, environmental forecasting, image classification, protein design, summarization, text generation, translation, and so on. You can filter by fine tuning tasks and you can filter by licenses. So I know for this, I wanna use 5.4 and I could see a couple of 5.4 models there, but not the one I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna search for it, 5.4. And there it is for chat completion. So that takes me to the details page where I can read about its model architecture, what training data was used. I can look at benchmarks, any existing deployments in Azure AI Foundry and its license. You can see the supported languages with tons. You can look at its pricing information and its benchmarks, as well as the model ID, which is useful for using it in, in Agent SDK. So I'm going to go to the model and then points in Foundry, click deploy base model, because this is how I'm going to deploy the 5.4 module model. I'm going to search for it. And there we go, some more information about it. Hit confirm. I'm choosing to deploy server, serverless API. Agree and proceed. And I'll accept this. East US 2, that's great. Hit deploy. And my model is deployed. Great, so it's ready to use. So here we are in Copilot Studio. I have a, an agent called Marion, which is and answers questions about craftsman tools. And I've created a topic called tool information topic. And it takes, it has a, a custom prompt. And the custom prompt is how I'm going to use the Foundry model. And right now it's using GPT-4 mini. So it just takes an activity text, runs it through the model and sends out a response. So I'm gonna ask a question of the agent. How do I store a Craftsman 50280 bottle jack? It's using GPT-4 Mini trained on general knowledge, so I kind of expect the results to be, well, kind of general. And it returns useful information, look, clean the jack, lower the jack, and so on. But I wonder what I could get with a different model. So now I want to switch to the 5.4 model, which may have some more information in, in it about how to store that Craftsman bottle jack. So I'm in the tool information prompt, go to the, click on the model, pick Azure AI Foundry. I'm gonna connect the new model and enter the, the information about the model from Foundry. And now it's ready to go. I'm just confirming that 5.4 is there. Now we're ready to go. So I'll ask the question again, how do I store Craftsman 50280 bottle jack? And it looks like there's more information from the 5.4 model than there is from the GPT-4 Mini. And this information is really useful, but is it what I really need? If we look at the manual, it shows more information, how to store your jack, insert the rubber handle holder onto the top nut and depress the spring. And it's very specific to storing that particular bottle jack. So while this 5.4 model is great, it gave more information, what I really need is retrieval augmented generation.